Hello everybody, it's Jacob from JT Sports Cards. Welcome to another video. As you can see here, we got a little soccer break with 2021 Topps Chrome MLS. I'm super excited for this one. Um, yeah, for MLS fans, this is definitely the biggest release of the year. Major League Soccer for Topps, they typically have two releases a year for that. Um, it can really depend on what the second release is but this is going to be the higher end one for the year. Uh, I'm assuming this is the last one. The only other time they had Topps Chrome was in 2014, I believe. Um, so let's see how it goes. We're gonna get right into this here. So there are 18 packs per box, one autograph per box, and we're looking for color, we're looking for a good auto. Um, I'm gonna link Link, I'm going to put a little um, thing that you can click on that will take you to uh, Justin's video. If you're not familiar with the channel, um, I'm Jacob and Justin's my brother and we kind of do a brother and channel. Uh, we don't live with each other, so we rip in different places, um, but we like a lot of the same stuff. So Justin ripped a box of Topps Chrome already. And I'm going to be ripping the one that I got. But yeah, I'll put a link to his video probably up here somewhere. And I would suggest checking that one out. He does a great job breaking down kind of the checklist. Who's in the checklist. We're looking for a couple big names such as Ricardo Pepe, Cape Cowell, and Caden Clark who's on the cover there. So I would encourage you to check that out. In addition to that, um, I have another video that I put out probably... A couple weeks close to a month ago um that is about if you're chasing former mls players or u.s men's national team players or canadian men's national team players in european products um, i have a breakdown for, from all the summer releases of the players found in those products so i check that one out as well if you're interested in that all right diego chara uh, but yeah, Justin and I, we always open up every single MLS product. So if you're into MLS and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button and a uh, nice little Arter throwback card. Looks very nice with the chrome finish there. Very nice. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let us know you like the video if you do like it. By clicking the like button and comment down below what you thought. Uh, what do you think of the release this year? And how do you think of the men's national team in qualifying for USA? And Canadian too. Because that is well underway. And there's just a lot of... I don't know. World Cup qualifying is pretty wild. So, Kubo. Hitch Prodigies. Uh, Santiago Sosa. It's a rookie card there. Diego Rubio. Let's see what we got here. Brenner. All right. So this is the regular Pitch Prodigies on the right. And on the left, that is the Refractor version. So very nice. Um, I think, look back at the pack odds. I think there's like, you get a couple Refractors. Maybe like three per box, um, I think. Maybe there's like one, I think it's called a sparkle parallel. Um, yeah, so hopefully we see some color. There wasn't a lot of color in the flagship product. Um, so I'm hoping we see a little bit more in Topps Chrome here. All right, it's in Flores. Uh, let's see, Joseph Claude Gio. In a Celebrations FC or Adolfo Pizarro. Um, yeah, so just kind of the images are more of them celebrating. Uh, very cool. I wonder, so they're referencing a specific moment there. I wonder if that is from the picture. I'm not too sure. Uh, that'd be cool if you know that you could tell me that picture was taken from the specific moment mentioned on the card. Um, wow, we got an insert on the front here. Dane St. Clair, the Canadian, I believe. Ooh, nice. 
We got a, well, let's put the Pitch Prodigies over here. A Christian Torres, Refractor, Hitch Prodigies rookie. Kyrie Shelton, nice. Sporting fan, so that's a nice baseball there. And then, ooh, nice. So this is nice. Christian Torres, not a bad rookie. Uh, I think that's a refractor. Oh, wow, okay. This is numbered, and I totally was overlooking this. All right, so this one is, let me get a sleeve on this here. 41 out of 50, Christian Torres, pitch prodigies. Not a bad guy to pull at all. Uh, there are several pretty promising young LAFC guys. I think they'll take up the mantle now that um, well, a couple guys are leaving. Um, yeah, so that is good. And then Caden Clark, Celebrations FC. And they've got the rookie card logo there too. So that was a very nice pack. Uh, very nice. So got a Cade Cowell. I need to make sure none of the other ones are numbered here. Okay. So that was a goal number to 50. All right, my bad. I'll pay better attention <laughs> for the upcoming ones here. But yeah, LAFC, they've kind of struggled this year, but they do have a lot of, of young talent that I think it's good to get any card of a lot of their young guys. So. All right. Uh, Efrain Alvarez, it would be very awesome if we got an auto of his. Ryan Hollingshead, and this is, uh, ooh, this is our auto, okay. Pitch Prodigies, uh, Gabriel Sonina for Chicago Fire. Okay, so um, definitely not one of the bigger names on the checklist here, but let's see, he's born in 2004, so he's very young, like 17. Um, so yeah, sweet. Um, very nice. Always nice to pull a non kind of base card autograph. So very cool. And if you guys watched any of our flagship rips from earlier, we got, we both got skunked and we both did not get a third hit. Um, so it's nice that we got an autograph here. <laughs> very good. All right, Julian Gressel, uh, Sebastian Blanco, Dave Romney, and then, nice, Gianluca Busio. Nice base card of him. Um, sad to see him go to Venezia, but um, that'll give me an excuse to catch some of the Serie A games this year. Hopefully, hopefully he does well, represents the sporting brand. Uh, Franco uh, Kovacevic, Pitch Prodigies, Ricky, uh, Paxton Aronson. I think this is one of the few guys that wasn't, has a rookie here that doesn't in the flagship, so this is definitely one to look for as well. Paxton Aronson, Pitch Prodigies, uh, Ralph Preso, and then a Romain Metanier. There are some photo variations. I'm not sure what the photo variations are, so I'll have to go back. I'm sure there's some code on the back of the card that I'll have to look for later. But, uh, pitch Prodigies, Michael Halliday. Uh, pitch Prodigies, uh, Alvarado Barrio. Josie Altador, base. Looks like we got another bit of color here. We got a, it's a teal, Jackson Ewell, numbered out of 299. He just got called back into U.S. Men's National Team camp. Um, I feel like he didn't do super well in his last couple U.S. Men's National Team appearances. But, um, you know, he's back in there and and we'll, we'll see how he does. But a uh, very good young player for San Jose. So not a bad one to pull at all as well. Um, yeah, so getting two numbered cards, that was probably as many numbered cards as I got in the flagship product. And there were 24 packs, so there were way more packs. So it was kind of a brutal break to get through. But Robert Barrick, uh, Rodolfo Pizarro, um, Jonder Cadiz, rookie card for Nashville FC. And then we got a Pitch Prodigies, 
Andreas Perea for Orlando City. And that's also not too bad. And that is a refractor. All right. Um, trying to think of what else I'm hoping for here. I'm hoping for if you get like a Kate Cowell or Ricardo Pepe numbered card. That would be awesome. Uh, Julian Carranza, rookie card for Inter Miami. <laughs> nice. Pitch Prodigies, Caden Clark. Very nice. I'll take that all day. Gustavo Bo. He's been on fire. The whole New England team has, really. Uh, Alexander Ring, I think this is a refractor there. So refractor. Very nice pitch prodigies of Caden Clark. I don't think I have... I might have his pitch prodigies of the flagship. I can't remember. Not super sure. All right, let's keep this going. Uh, Victor uh, Wanyama. Thomas Pocahino, Randall Leal, and we got a Big City Strikers, Bradley Wright Phillips. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, I know Justin already said this in his break, but I think there are two Big City Strikers per box in Chrome, but for Flagship, it was like a half case hit. So... <laughs> that's a little interesting for this product the half case hit so two per case is the future stars which that's a very common insert uh for chrome that they have for bundesliga and champions league i believe miles robinson has been balling out lately just everywhere he's been who is this oh, okay never mind bill hamid i thought that was a red refractor lucas uh cavallini this is just a throwback Gaston Jimenez for Chicago Fire. Cool throwback card. These look so much better in the in the refractor version than the regular. They just pop so much more. It's very cool. Alright, let's see if we can get some more numbered cards here. I feel like we we could use one or two more here. Diego Valeri. Looking like a gray beard there. Andreas uh, Shenyasiki. I think I butchered that. Robin Lode. And we got our second big city strikers, Carlos Vela. And this is a refractor. Uh, the other one might have been too. Actually, I think all these are. But very nice one to get. So getting a couple guys on the... That grace the cover of the box. So that's always good. Um, yeah, so that's a very nice pull as well. I feel like I got two very solid names here for our big city strikers. So, yeah, I'm just looking to see if we can get any more numbered cards. If we got a future stars, that would be amazing. I want to see what those look like in person. Uh, I have not pulled one yet. Santiago Sosa for Atlanta United. Rookie card. Oh, well, I already saw that peeking there. Orange. Nani. See what that one's number two. Julian Araujo, rookie card. He's probably one of the other guys to get. He's he's pretty good for the Galaxy. So that's another guy I'd look forward to. Um, Celebrations FC, Raul Ruiz Diaz. So that's a very good player to pull. Uh, let's see what the orange is number two. 25. I think. Uh, it's a pretty thick card. So Nani out of 25 for Orlando City. Uh, the orange and purple, not a bad look. So, very nice stuff here. Okay. Uh, I changed my mind. I want one more number card. <laughs> Let's see, though. So, I got four packs left. All right. Uh, Darlington Nagby. It looks like we do have a teal something. Casper Prisbelko for Philly. Hani Mukhtar, Celebrations FC. This guy's had a really good year, too. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay. 
the sideways car kind of threw me off. Uh, Romain Montier. I think we pulled his base already. So 288 out of 299. Uh, the teal also looks good with the light blue as well. So uh, that means we have, I think, four numbered cards so far, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. I was hoping we wouldn't get through a box and get like one numbered card because that'd be kind of lame for Tops Curl, but lots of different colors. So that's very fun. Um, absolutely. All right, Chris Wondolowski. Looks like we have our Speckle or is it Sparkle? I can't remember what they call this one. Felipe Mora. Um, okay, let's go to the second card here. Sam Vines, now with Royal and Twerp. And then a we got a rookie, Handuela Buena, rookie speckle. I think this is one per box here um, for Nashville. Yeah, these look pretty cool. Um, so for the retail, they had kind of those icy, icy foils or whatever, and here they got kind of those speckles. So it's pretty fun to see. Definitely a variety of colors and I don't know, different looking cards. This is very fun. All right, last two packs here. Carlos Tehran, Blue Wave. All right, Yamil Saad. Uh, Celebrations FC, Chris Wondolowski, <laughs> nice. I wonder when this one was from. Uh, okay, well he scored against playoffs against Sporting KC, which I was at that game and I was hoping it was not a celebration in that moment. All right, Austin FC, midfielder. Uh, let's see, we got Jared Stroud. It's a blue wave. Can't remember if these are numbered or not too. Okay, these are numbered, 199. Uh, the wave look is really cool as well. So a lot of stuff that I have not seen before with MLS cards, so very cool stuff, um, yeah. So I think I said like one more number card and I'd be happy and we got like three since then. So I should be pretty content. But no Peppy, no Kate Cow. Maybe for the last pack here. Can we get some last pack mojo? Let's see what we got. All right, starting off with a rookie card. Mustafa Kiza. Uh, okay, we got another blue wave and then we got one of those throwback cards. John Gregus. Lucas Zellerayon, throwback. So we had, I think, three of the four with, like, inserts and stuff. It was very cool. So very nice pull there as well. Um, yeah, very nice. All right. Blue Wave, we got, uh, I think it was, uh, okay, Felipe Mora. Oh, put the rookies over here. Another Felipe Mora to 199. So, all right, so that is it, guys. Uh, nothing too wild here. Um, let's take a quick look at some of the recaps. We got the two big guys on the back. We got our auto of Gabriel Sonina. I don't know a whole lot about him. So if you guys know more about this guy than I do, uh, let me know what you think about him. And we got Christian Torres, Pitch Prodigies, numbered out of 50. That one was pretty nice. And we got a bunch of numbered cards here, a lot of veterans. Uh, so two blue waves, one speckle, I think, uh, two teals, and then we got an orange to 50, 25. And then two big city strikers, Carlos Vela, Bradley Wright Phillips. Um, so those were nice as well. Uh, we also had a couple of Paxton Aronson rookie. And then we got a couple of Caden Clarks hidden in the pile somewhere. Yeah. So we got pitch prodigies of Caden Clark. So that was nice. Um, yeah, so I'd say overall pretty nice stuff. Um, once again, if you haven't seen Justin's video, make sure you check his out as well. He goes a little bit in more detail with the checklist and stuff like that. Um, and we have other MLS stuff on our channel, so feel free to check that out. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, but this was pretty fun. So we'll see how the prices for this, what happens to them, if they stay pretty consistent. Um, what they've been selling for on eBay has been a lot different than what they've been selling for at 
different online retailers. So I'm not sure what they're going to sell at, but if it's anywhere close to what it is online, which has been like low 100s, uh, I think this is definitely, definitely worth uh, another look at potentially. So, all right, guys, thanks for checking this one out. Um, yeah, we'll have retail for this too. We'll have the blaster boxes on the channel. I don't know when, probably in a week or two, um, but stay tuned for that as well. All right, guys, this is Jacob from JT Sports Cards signing off. I'll see you in the next video.